is Lori from Shoe Shoe Paper Art, and I am participating in Paper Sweetie's sixth birthday. Congratulations, Paper Sweeties! And I have made a little mini card set from, um, let's see, these really cool uh, scallop dies. They're just slightly wonky, so they're kind of fun. And also the Sending Sweet Thoughts, the little cupcakes, uh, stamps, and die set. Um, these turned out really cool. I really like them and they were fun and easy to do. They're a little monochromatic um, watercolor. You don't need anything expensive to do these. So um, let's get started. I need to start by cutting a rectangle frame. And they do come apart in the frame piece and the inside piece, which is really quite awesome for this particular activity because um, otherwise I would have had to kind of cover up the frame. And since they're made this way, I don't have to do that. So I'm going to start with this little middle piece here. And I just have my oh, cheapo set here that I use a lot actually. So um, I really like um, this particular pink and that's what I used on on this this pink one right here so uh, and while I'm thinking about it I'll I have um, let's see this one is kind of blue teal colors the one I used on the blue and then this uh, darker yellow is what I used on the yellow card all right so I used um, kind of a medium sized flat brush to go ahead and just get some a little bit of water on there and I didn't put the water all the way to the edge kind of wanted just in the middle a little bit of a, a dry frame around the water and then just started putting on watercolor. Um, I wanted to start kind of light because you can always add more but it's not as easy to pick it up off the um, paper once you've got it on there. This is a 140 pound watercolor paper which I like. It's nice and thick. I'm just going to keep adding a little bit of color on there and just kind of moving it around. And I'm not going, going to be overly picky. I just want some on there. And I'm also not going to worry about if it's all kind of the same flat color or not because I'm going to go ahead and, and flick some more color on it. Um, you can also wait and let it dry a little bit and see if it's dark enough for you because it does tend to dry maybe a little bit lighter than um, what you would expect. So now I'm going to move to this round brush, small round brush, and I'm going to just do some flicking. Um, I did try to keep them pretty monochromatic, but what I did is I had all three of those laid out when I started doing my flicking. So you can see on some of the finished ones, like there's a little tiny dot of the teal color there, and then on the blue one, I got some little yellow dots, and I kind of like that. So, um, you know, just have kind of have fun. So I'm going to start with the the pink and just sling some dots on there. I'm going to put some uh, paint on my paintbrush and just tap it on my finger and let it flick onto the uh, little middle part here that we're working on. And that is really all there is to this part of the watercolor. Um, while we are using the watercolors, let's go ahead and I've cut out um, a top piece of the cupcakes. The dies come in a couple of pieces for the cupcake. You get a whole base of the cupcake, this piece right here, and then you also have the, what I'm just going to call the topper piece. Okay, so this is what I'm using right now is just this topper piece. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and since this was monochromatic, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put a little bit of water on and use the pink again. And again, I'm just kind of putting some water but not all the way to the edge. And just go ahead and put a little bit of color on there, spread it around. Might actually be a little bit dark. Oops, I'm going to pick some of that up. Okay, wipe up my mess I just made. And I'm also going to, I kind of like just a little darker spot 
on there. Okay, now I think I just took off too much, so let's put a little bit more. So you really can't mess it up. If you don't like it, just wipe it off and start over. <laughs> okay, so I got a little bit of color on there. And then I'm also going to drop on a little bit of pink just to give it some dimension. Just kind of maybe in that area, just make it a little bit darker than what's around it. Okay, and then I'm going to set that aside to dry. Okay, the next thing that needs to be done is the bottom part of the cupcake. This piece right here. And what I did is I used the base stamp as well as the little lines for the cupcake paper that is this base and these lines. And um, I just heat embossed them in white. I don't know if you can even see that on the base, but I've got white embossing and the important part, you don't really need the top embossed, but I just found that just might as well just go ahead and do it because you kind of want the bottom. Is the I can see it, and I don't know if you can or not, but um, I'm going to use my small brush, and I'm going to use a couple of the kind of brown, golden browns here, um, just really lightly in the areas that are not embossed just kind of in between the embossing. And just kind of until I like the color. And I'm also going to pick up a little bit of the darker uh, brown and just kind of put, drop it in um, the bottom. I don't know if you can even see that. It's just slightly darker. Kind of at the bottoms and then um, of those stripes and then across the top a little bit, just so they'll show up a little bit more. Okay, that's all there is to that, and I'm going to set that aside and let it dry. Okay, I've got some already made, so I can show the rest of how to make this card already dry. Okay, so here is that frame that we cut out. And here it is, the same thing we did before, it's just in blue. I did the blue watercolor, threw some dots on it, and then now I'm ready to continue with the card. When I cut out the uh, frame, I actually put a T for top on the back, and that way I can just kind of make sure it fits back in there um, really well, because sometimes if you get it turned around, it doesn't quite fit as well as it should. And I'm just going to erase those T's off the back there. Most of it will be covered up with a note card anyway, but just in case. Okay, so now I need to put this little piece back in there and just go ahead and tape it down. And I'm just going to use some scotch tape to do that. Being careful not to let the scotch tape show um, through the scallops. Going to go ahead and um, make the card. I'm going to put the, oops, let's get the one that's dry. <laughs> I'm going to put the base cupcake on first. And then add little topper piece okay now I'm ready to put the sentiment on the top and I'm using the um, I heart you more than cupcakes from the stamp set this is called sending sweet thoughts by the way if I didn't say that earlier And again, since I'm going with a monochromatic theme, 
I'm going to use the same color or close to the same color stamp pad as what is on the watercolor. Don't want to knock that water over. All right. That is it. For, oh, no, that is not it. I need to add the little bow. There's a little bow in the stamp set, and I'm going to add that to my cupcake. Cute. Okay, so that's all for the front of the card, and I've cut a card base out of Bristol. Um, Bristol is a little bit creamier and it matches my watercolor paper a little bit better than my white cardstock. And I've cut it just as big as possible so that it doesn't um, extend into the scallops. I just want to cover that tape. And I'm just going to go ahead and glue that on. Oh, no, I'm not either. I'm going to do my twine first. Okay, I keep forgetting my order this time. All right, so I want to go ahead and tie on a bow. You can see from the finished ones that they're all tied just inside on the top part. And I, just, I don't know, I just thought it added a little fun element to the cards. You wouldn't have to do that, but just for the fun of it, let's go ahead. Cut some twine off. And I'm tying the bow right on the edge of the uh, card base. I'm not, it's not really on top of the card base. It's more on the side. And that way it'll show really well. Um, and don't worry about placement vertically until you get it tied the way you want it. And that way it shows um, out from underneath the scallops. Okay, this is kind of twisted. Let's loosen that up a little bit and kind of pull it again. All right, I kind of like that. Strings are probably just a little bit too long. I'll cut those off. Okay. Now, let's see if that's about where it needs to go. I'll lay this on top. Yeah, I think that looks about right. You can hear my kitty crying for attention. He just figured out I wasn't upstairs anymore. He's gotten so old, he can't hear anything, so he doesn't realize when I leave the room. All right, just put that on. And that is all there is to it. Isn't that cute? All right, so um, here's a last look at the three finished little mini cards. So thank you to Debbie at Paper Sweeties for asking me to participate, and thank you for joining me. You can always find me at shushupaperart.com.